Hello everyone, my name is Donald Lim from HL Support Team and in this video we'll talk about on how to upgrade Domino and Traveler 1001 to 1101. Now as you can see on my screen, we have a running Traveler server 1011 and Domino 1001. In order for us to start with the upgrade, we need to shut down this server completely by issuing the quit command. And then we need to remove the traveler from the server task list in the notes.ini file to prevent traveler from starting. Leaving traveler in the notes.ini file can result in errors on the console due to a mismatch in version levels. These errors will continue to display until both products are upgraded. We need to locate the notes.ini file from here, the domino directory. Then locate server test. As you can see, traveler test is still here, so we need to remove that one and save the file. Alright, once done, we install the new Domino server by running the Domino 1101 installer and then following the screens for installation. For the Domino upgrade, we need to make sure that if a fix pack or a hotfix is in your current version, it is always a good practice to remove those to ensure that the Domino is in the base version before proceeding to the Domino upgrade. Alright, first off, we need to click OK by selecting the English language as well. Alright, then click Next. Accept the terms of the license agreement. Click next. And it will use the program file select to the name, same as before. We need to select the Domino Enterprise server as well, and then click next. Then hit install. All right. So, as you can see from the message, the Domino install was successful, so we need to click Done. And then, let's start the Domino server to allow it to complete any migration test. Now, issue the Show Server command to show this server version of the Domino we are running. As you can see, it's already upgraded successfully to 1101. Now we need to quit and shut down the server again for us to proceed with the Traveler upgrade. Alright, so it's done. We need to go to the Traveler installer, Traveler 1101 installer, and run the Traveler setup file. Alright, we need to select the language, click OK. First, click Next. We need to accept the terms of license agreement and hit Next. And use the program and data directory. Same as before, click Next. And proceed with install. As you can see here, Traveler installation completed successfully. So right now we need to start Traveler server again. All right. While we wait for the Traveler server to start, I would like to give some other important notes to consider when upgrading the Traveler server. First, you can install and run Traveler in any version of the Domino the Traveler supports. Best practice is to use the latest maintenance level of Domino version you choose. 
Next, if you create the dominant server major version, you must rerun the traveler install to ensure proper binary files are installed. For example, if you're running Traveler 10 on Domino 901 and you upgrade to Domino 10, rerun the Traveler 10 installer. Lastly, it is best practice to maintain a pilot environment that can be used for upgrade and migration testing prior to upgrading the production environment. If we go back to the Traveler server, we need to issue the Tell Traveler version, and then you can see here that both Traveler and Domino were upgraded to 1101. That's it for this video and thank you very much for watching.